Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Catch Fletch. You never know where you're going to catch me, but today we're going to be with our Chief of Security, Jack Benke, and we're going to go on an interesting tour. So, let's go. Hey Jack, how are you doing? Good morning, sir. I'm Man, great. A beautiful day. Beautiful day. Well, you've been head of security now for how long? I'm, uh, I've just started my 18th year here at Westminster. Tell me some of the uh, things that you've seen that have made security better on this campus. Well, a lot of changes. I, I think that in my 18 years, uh, I've seen a lot of changes in, in, in security because we've had to change the way we do business because of what's going on in the world around us. Uh -huh. uh, we rely heavily on, on uh, the intelligence community and our, our community partners that we've, we've yeah. made part, uh, good uh, relationships with the police department, sheriff department to provide uh -huh. us with uh, up-to-date uh, information that we can train our officers and we can make sure that we we have the most up-to-date uh, emergency response plans uh, to make sure this campus is safe. Do you consider this a safe campus? I do. I really do. We we have two main thoroughfares that run right through the middle of our campus, so we're not able to uh, to close our campus by any means. Uh, but we do get a lot of support from Fulton Police, uh -huh. um, a lot of a lot of presence uh, uh -huh. on campus. So I, I think that uh, that's a, a big plus for us. Good, good. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, there's a lot of campuses nowadays that are turn into dangerous places and one of the things we must preserve here is the safety of our students. I think we stay, we, we focus a lot on training for our officers. Mm -hmm. um, we we provide um, the most up-to-date training for them in, in a number of different areas. Uh, yeah. Emergency response is, is one of our most most important ones, yeah. I feel, because we have to bring our A game every single day yeah. uh, with what's going on in the world around us. Yeah. When I was here before, we put speed bumps on this road. How'd you let them uh, get rid of those? Well, it, it wasn't by choice. I, uh -huh. I assure you, it was not by choice. I, I think that, that some folks in the community were were not happy with the speed bumps. So yeah, because they couldn't it, rip through here. Yes, 40 miles exactly. An hour. Now we've uh, we've added this parking in the in the last decade. All of this parking around here. Yes. Serve the Miller Center. Do we have emergency um, uh, contact? Boxes, what do they call them? Bogan devices or something for the kids if something the, happens. The emergency blue boxes. Yeah, the blue boxes. Emergency phones. Yes, yeah. we do. We have six, six total on campus uh, uh -huh. in different locations. But one one thing that we've added, uh, we launched our uh, Campus I app last year. Uh -huh. uh, and it actually provides, I think, the same, uh, a better feature than the blue phones. It actually puts that one touch 911 calling in, in the hands of anybody that has a smartphone. Really? So our students, uh, all they have to do is download the app on their on their phone. We, uh -huh. we were just able to add a couple of new features just this last week where they're uh -huh. able to send video clips to the security officer and, and do a live chat with them if they uh -huh. see suspicious activity on campus. So yeah. there's one of those uh, blue boxes yes. right there. Yeah. Yes. Pretty well marked and in an obvious place. Yes, they are. Yeah. Well, that's good, Jack. Uh, what's your biggest challenge here? The biggest challenge? I think probably just just keeping up to date on what, what's going on. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's a crazy world we live in. It is. <laughs> it is. So I, I think trying to, the challenge is trying to keep up, up to date on, on the, the most, uh, the latest technology and, and that we can provide our officers to do the very best job they can. Yeah. I, you know, our number one priority is to keep our students, students safe here. So. You bet. You. Um, you bet. Well, we've got a beautiful campus. Uh, we we uh, haven't had a big vandalism issue. No. That I know of in recent time, and and uh, safety seems very good, Jack. You guys are doing a great job. I I appreciate that. Yeah. The. Uh, I guess the biggest challenge, maybe one of your bigger challenges, was that week where we had Cheney and Kerry here uh, the same week in the five-day period. The dignitary and VIP <laughs> events are always a challenge, but I look forward to them. I welcome you them do. on campus. Yeah. I I remember we had uh, the state police, we had the uh, uh, 
because both uh, at that time Terry was the uh, was the presidential candidate, and uh, and Cheney was the vice president. So he had all kinds of, of let me call it help. Yeah, uh, it, 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 some of the job. federal agencies were here too. Yeah. So, but we've kind of got used to that that yeah. that sort of activity on campus with uh, with those types of events. So well, we were working with uh, with Cheney's uh, uh, vice president Cheney's chief of staff, and uh, I remember. Um, we were working with his handlers for a week, getting everything set up, and then she came in the day of and tried to change everything. Yes. And I told her, you know, this is kind of like working with a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> and she backed off right away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. this is a, a beautiful campus, and I really appreciate the work that you and your crew do, Jack. Uh, it's been a good, a good visit with you. And uh, if you got any problems, uh, don't forget uh, I'm here. And uh, we're here to help. We okay. appreciate. Thank you for your leadership, you, man. You're the best. Well, that was fun. Catch us next week on Catch Fletch. You never know where I'm going to be.